Color Chords is a four-channel additive layer priority mixer designed primarily for color mixing. Color Chords allows you to layer different shapes and patterns, and it also gives you extremely precise control over the colors of your generated shapes and patterns. Color Chords features one full RGB color input. This allows you to chain multiple color chords for more than three channels of operation. The other three layers each have an opacity slider and a color control. So with the RGB outs, connected to the RGB ins of the visual cortex, let's plug a ramp into layer one. If we pull the opacity up and turn up the different controls, we start to see the image of the ramp. By changing the amount of this signal that's sent out to each of the red, green, and blue inputs, we can start to get different colors. So now let's pull in some different image sources. I'm going to take a different ramp, put it into the source of a staircase, and take this output into layer two. And I'll turn up just the green channel on that. So now you can see what this is doing. As I pull the opacity control down, you get a full mix of the two channels. And as I pull it up, it starts to subtract the brightest parts of layer one from layer two. This gives a really cool organic opacity effect that has soft edges and sometimes surprising results. I'm gonna take another ramp, go into a doorway, and put this on layer three. I'll turn this to blue. So this third source from the doorway, you can see is just blue. So I turned everything else back down. So now I'll turn layer one on, make that red. And you can see the difference with opacity up versus opacity down. I'll turn on channel two. And again, you can see the difference with the opacity up and the opacity down. So this is how you can basically start to mix your colors. I'm gonna show you just a little bit more of how the individual color controls work by just focusing on layer two. With everything all the way down, you obviously have a full black image. And red all the way up, obviously it turns it red. Red and green together makes yellow, which is clearly indicated using this. Red and blue together makes magenta. And, uh, and green and blue together make cyan. You can get very fine color mixing with these controls. This fine control over specific colors is something lacking from the marble index and visual cortex. While they have other great tricks, it's sometimes hard to dial in a very specific shade of orange that you may be desiring. Color chords solves that need. Next, we'll look at a more unusual and esoteric use of the color chords. In this patch, we're going to look at using color chords as a generic matrix mixer with no color information used whatsoever. This is a fairly complex patch. While color chords is most commonly used as a color mixer, it can also be used as a 3x3 matrix mixer to combine any types of signals. In this case, I'm using it as a complex pattern mixer to combine three different sources before hitting a keyer. The keyer is then generating the shape that you see on your screen. I'll go through the patch a little bit and then break it down so you can see how we got here. On layer one, we have a vertical ramp from the visual cortex, which is summed with an LFO. On layer two, we have a triangle wave coming out of the prismatic ray. The frequency is turned all the way up and is synced to produce vertical bars. And on layer three, we have a complex pattern coming from the memory palace. The red output of the color chords is going into a keyer, the green output is going into a staircase, and the blue output is going to the foreground input on a keyer. This allows me to choose how much of each individual pattern is affecting different parts of the signal. As you can see, it's capable of a wide range of different effects.
So if we want to send more of the memory palace to the keyer, we simply turn up its red control. If we want to send more to the staircase, we turn up the green. And we have the blue turned up all the way to the foreground of the keyer. And we can pull that in and out. You can also play with the opacity controls. And so this gives you a way to mix and get really complicated patterns from just a few input sources. So now let's look at how we built this. So here we have a vertical ramp going into one channel of a passage and LFO going into the other. You can see from the output, we're just getting this kind of sweeping gradient through the middle. So I'm going to throw that onto layer one. The next element of this patch is three vertical bars coming from a prismatic ray. So I'm going to throw this into layer two. The final source is going to come from a memory palace. And this shows you a very complex rotating pattern. I'm going to put this into layer three. So I'll take the red output of the color cords and put it into a doorway. I'll take the key output and then we'll take a look at this. So if I turn all of these down to zero, as I start to increase channel one, we see that sweeping ramp. So I increase layer two, we start to see those vertical bars. And as I increase layer three, we start to see that complex pattern. Now I could start to mix these all together. And you can see that the key is responding appropriately. So I'll turn these all back down to zero. Next we'll take the green output, go into the source on a staircase. And let's take a look at what that looks like. So now similarly, I can mix how much of each of these three sources I want affecting the staircase. I'm going to switch this back so we're looking at the key. And I'm going to plug the staircase output into the background input. So now, as I increase the red channel, we get more or less of a key. So finally, I'll take the blue output and I'll put that into the foreground input. So now our blue channel is going to control the foreground of our key. The green channel is going to control the background of our key, which is also patched into a staircase. And the red channel is going to define the overall source for our key. So this gives us a great way to control an extremely complex pattern. You can have a lot of fun with this patch, and it shows the color chords is not just for color mixing. So here we have another somewhat complex patch that shows how color chords can be used with the visual cortex to give you more precise control over your color palette. In this example, the color chords is mixing the background images, consisting of a texture from the memory palace, a pattern from the staircase, and a key from the doorway. A ramp from the visual cortex is controlling a key, and this key is placing that external video over the patterned image. While the visual cortex is a great module, it doesn't give you super precise control over your colors, as you may have struggled with if it's your only module. So the external video that's coming in, I can get different general hues. To get a really layered and specific color palette can be challenging, and this is where color chords comes in. So now I'll take this patch apart and show you how it's made. First thing I'm gonna do I'm going to take the Y output from the memory palace and plug it into layer one of the color chords. Here you can see a pretty simple pattern being generated by the memory palace. From here we can change the colors and adjust it till we get exactly what we want. For layer two, 
I'm going to take an H minus V ramp, put that into the through input of the passage, put an LFO into the in input, and take this into a staircase. <clears throat> so then on layer two, we have these nice modulating staircase shapes. For layer three, I'm going to take a vertical ramp from visual cortex, put that into the source on a doorway, and then take the other LFO from pendulum, use that to modulate the threshold. And that's going to look something like this. I have the softness way down. If I turn it up, we get these scanning bars. If I turn it down, there we go. And now we can get really, really specific with the colors. I'm also going to slow this LFO down a little bit. And we can adjust the opacity. Again, this gives us a very, very fine control over the kind of color scheme that we want for this piece. So once we have something we like, I'm going to take an external video input into channel B of the cortex. I just go Luma out into the RGB in. If we slide over, you can see what that looks like. And then finally, I'm going to take the H plus V ramp and add that into the key input. So I have that switch set to up. I'm going to put this right in the middle and I have my cycle control on. So that gives me some animation based on these curves. Now with the mix switch up, I can start to colorize the external video input. And if I switch this to sum and switch this to negative, then I start to get a whole range of different effects. If I turn some mode back off, you can see really clearly what that's doing. Turn negative off, and we're back to normal. So Color Chords adds a lot of flexibility to what you can do with a visual cortex. One last thing we could do is substitute this key in the background for a multiplied output of the actual video source. I'm going to turn down layers one and two. So now you can see that key is switching between two different colored versions of the video input. And of course, I can start to mix in other things as well. So hopefully, that gives you some idea of how to get started with color chords. Thanks for watching, and as always, please leave any questions or ideas for other patch videos in the comments.